back everyone for some more of my fans Varos career mode for FIFA 22 and we are going to be doing the penultimate episode of this series. I have decided that this will be my next to final episode in this series because I'm going to be simming this game against the uh, LSKA Lens. Then I'm going to play the Europa League semi-final match against Tottenham and then I'm going to end up the I'm going to end the episode with this Osterreich Pokal game which is the final against LSKA Lens. And then next episode will either be only the season review, or should I say the series review of this career mode, or it's going to be that plus the Conference League final, which I hope we get to. I hope we get past Tottenham here. But um, before we continue on, hopefully you guys are having an awesome day today. Hopefully you guys are doing well. By the way, if I sound a little bit off, that's just because I just woke up. So I, I haven't had, I haven't even had my coffee yet. I just wanted to get into this game here. I just wanted to just get into trying to finish this Ferenc Vados career mode if I can. So, and like I said, the next episode will be the final one in the series. So. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send this with my... Um, Actually, I think I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm gonna sim this with my second team because I want my first team to play against Tottenham. And we do get the one no win. Zacharias and ends up scoring for us, which is awesome. Schubertsly came on for Bessic and Hinteregger came on for Barca. But now we are going to sim ahead here and we're going to play this uh, Europa Conference League semi-final against... Tottenham. I forgot about him getting me off camera and asking if he could play that, but... Like I usually tell my team, we have bigger games ahead, and I don't think we're going to have many bigger games here than against Tottenham here in the Conference League semifinals. And that's going to be about um, Salai. He might make an appearance in this episode, I don't know. But he should definitely be ready if we make the Conference League semifinal. If we make the Conference League final, we should be... We should have them available for that. But I'm going to go ahead and keep the kits on as they are. Clear skies at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Yeah, they give them clear skies, but they give me freaking rain and snow. Thank you, EA. But anyway, get, we're going to get right into this. You see Shoba Slides are a featured player here. Yeah, I meant to actually play my my first team, but I, I thought about it. I'm like, why? We're going to be playing Tottenham. I want my strongest starting 11 available for that game. And even though Shoba Sly wanted to play. Like I said, there are bigger games ahead. You can see, uh, I, th I believe that was Lucas Moore warming up for Tottenham. Which in real life, Tottenham Hotspur got crashed out of this competition. I, I don't even think they made it past. They, it's either they didn't make past the, the group stage, or they didn't make it past the round of 16. They did not go deep in this competition at all. But on FIFA, it seems like they, it, uh, especially when I watch other YouTubers, they're in the final of this competition all the time. Which, beautiful header by Dominic Solanke to open up the scoring. So Lanky knows a thing or two about playing against Premier League teams, playing by, against uh, playing for Liverpool, Chelsea, and then Bournemouth. Which I'm not sure if he's still at. I think he still is at Bournemouth. I don't think he transferred anywhere else. So 
He will be playing for newly promoted Bournemouth in the Premier League this upcoming season. Clayson making a run out along the left hand side. Yo, know, I'm so glad Ateki did not take that shot. If you guys missed the last episode, Ateki pretty much had the worst miss I've ever seen of anybody taking a shot. I, I mean, it was absolutely disgraceful. But I'm going to go ahead and just jump to the result here. They do get a goal back through, through Regulon. Uh, Gavich came on for Soberslide, Zacharyson came on for Alski, and Sonora came on for Ateki. And admittedly, Ateki has not, I mean, yes, he's a 77 rated midfielder, or CDM, I should say. He has not been that good. He really has not. But we are going to be going up against Salzburg, the team that we beat the title for. Which I'm going to go ahead and sim that as soon as I see. Okay, Trembley is, yeah, the, the next to uh, last game, he finally gets to a... Where I can promote him. I just want to see if he can play somewhere else. Let's see. Let me see. Trembly, Trembly. Because the board is going gaga over this guy. Okay, plus one as a CDM. Plus seven as a cam. So apparently he was meant to be a cam. I mean, like I said, it ultimately doesn't matter because I'm going to be ending this career mode at the end of the season, but he's already grown by nine from going from a center back to a CDM, I think. Oh, it's going to take him 15 weeks. He's not going to get... Yeah, he is not going to reach his, uh, a cam by the time this series is over. Okay, we're going to go ahead and quick sim this. Again, it does not matter. And we still get the win anyway. Zacharias and an Alice key with goals. Adeyemi, the Dortmund bound striker, gets a consolation nine minutes from time. Yeah, the board is going gaga about this kid, but even at a 55 rating, I mean, 55 at 16 isn't too terrible, but. I've had much better youth academy prospects going through the ranks than my other career modes. As a matter of fact, I mean, look how much uh, Tommy Waters is growing for me in my Nottingham Forest career mode, for those of you that are watching that series. So, yeah, he's definitely among the best youth academy prospects I've ever had in any, any career mode. And yet you get the uh, guys like Trembley here, the... Uh, Defense virus boy is going nuts about him, and I'm looking at him like, yeah, he's got potential, but he's he's nothing special. He's not he's not anything special. So, I mean, I hate to say it like that, but Feyenoord want Marco Man. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that from uh, Feyenoord. Now I'm gonna play the second leg against Tottenham Hotspur. I am going to go, uh, go ahead. If you gave Tottenham clear skies, you were giving me clear skies. They got Raul Jimenez. That's interesting. Yeah, Jimenez is starting. 
Did they sell? I don't remember if Harry Kane started the last game. I don't know. But they got Nobby Keita. And that's pretty much everybody else is on the Tottenham team in real life, so. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start this game. And I have two more league games to sim, well, championship playoff games to sim in the Austrian Bundesliga. Then we'll be playing the cup final against LSK Linz. As we are underway here. Okay, no oh wow. I thought that was a certain goal. What happened there, Solanke? Just didn't get enough toe on it. I'm very surprised by that effort. That should have been one nothing. Alright. What? Did that. Did my guys not bring their finishing boots today? How have we not scored yet? Come on, guys. Okay, man. That goal is regulation size, guys, I assure you. Man, I can't get over that. That should have been 3 nothing right now. Salonke with the terrible... Ma oh, it's key. You're just passing it right to Hyung Min Sun. One of the most dangerous wingers in the Premier League, and you're freaking passing it right through him. Come on, guys, wake up. Uh... Go this way. There's a corner. Clayson, nowhere near that. Come on, guys. I'm not even celebrating that. That was one of the worst games I've witnessed. Shelby Sly gets another goal, Lucas gets a goal back, but wow, what a way to get in. And we're going to be playing against Ghent. Because they drew 2-2 in the last game. So yeah, the Europa Con Conference League final will be up again, will be pitting two European minnows against each other. Fans Varos versus Ghent. I thought for sure, uh, my, I think... I think most people would put their money on Monaco to getting out of that, but GG to Ghent for getting out of there. Yeah, that game was absolutely atrocious. Yeah, that's not a way I want to get into Europe at the Conference League final, because that that was a disgrace to freaking... Yeah, we could have beat Tottenham a lot worse had our guys actually learned how to freaking finish. Actually, wait. But yeah, we've pretty much got this thing. As you can see, Salzburg isn't even second anymore. Rapid Vienna is. But we have a 19-point advantage over them. We've had this thing sealed a long time ago. But of course, the game puts us in the rain, which doesn't matter because we're simming. We've got two red cards for Berta for us and then Kirashvili for, for them. Zubgoff gets the equalizer of seven minutes in the second half after Sokaria opens the scoring. That's actually the first points we've dropped in the championship round. Player suspended. Which of course is Berda. 
Do we have any other Saturn bags? Uh, we have Barter. Oh, we got Brandstatter in there. I'll, I'll put him on the bench, even though he'll be leaving out on loan at the end of this season, which technically not because I'm ending this after this episode. My assistant manager telling me something that I already know. And we have the season finale here against Rapid Vienna, which means absolutely nothing considering we're 20 points ahead of them. And then Salai. You're a big player for us, you've earned us. I'm going to say you've earned your place in this team. Although I'm not playing him right now. But I'm going to go ahead and sim this game against Rapid Vienna. This will probably be a loss. No, we wrap up the season with a win. Soberslide and Hinteregger ends up scoring. Barca and Salai, and, uh, uh, Barca and Salai come off for uh, Chevich and Brandstrato gets his debut. And then I've got an email saying availability after suspension, which I'm not surprised about. And then Salai will take his place back in the team. And he, I am going to play him in the next game against uh, Linz. Where's... Oh, Berta's right there. Gavich, you've been good, but I'm going to put you on the bench for my first team. Gavage is up to 71. I'm actually going to play him in this game against Linz. Alski. Shalai, Shalai will be coming back. And I think instead of Botka lifting the trophy here, I'm going to give it to Zachariasen because he's been actually been stepping up for me in recent games. And he is a, among the my few remaining originals in this squad, so I am going to go ahead and give him the captain's own ban here. Hoping he doesn't make me regret this. But we will be wrapping up this episode uh, against uh, LSK Lens here in the Österreich Pokal Final. And of course, the for next episode, which will be the final episode in a series, we'll be taking on Ghent in the Conference League final. Uh, Marin did not take the uh, offer from Feyenoord. Borussia Dortmund 2 went cock. Needs a goalkeeper of the tournament right there. Peter Galaxy. Golden Boot win, uh, winner, Dominic Solanke, 19 goals and 23 appearances with 2 assists. 25 goal contribution, uh, no, 21 goal contribution to 23 games is pretty darn good. Team of the Year. You can see Hinteregger. You can see Salai. Botka. Schobeschlei. And those are the ones that made the... I say only once, but we got four players in there where everybody else... Well, Rapid Vienna has three. So, us and Rapid Vienna dominating the team in the tournament here. I'm glad we got the most. Especially Sobosai, Shalai, Botka, and Hintrager. They deserve it. Player of the tournament announced has been Koida. I'm surprised it hasn't been one of our players. But we are going to be playing this cup final game.
And Ateki, you can dream on, buddy. You've been one of the most disappointing signings I've ever made in a career mode. I'm not saying that lightly. Yeah, you've been absolutely awful for me. But I'm actually going to change kits here. I'm going to put my away kits on here. Overcast skies. Okay, Zacharyson with the captain's armband. Salai, this is his first game back. You can see that he's not exactly, his sharpness isn't exactly there. He's at minus one in form, but hopefully he'll recapture his magic here. Gavich will be on the other side. Feels wrong not to play Gavich in this game. You see Zubkov is the featured player here. You can see Roland Salai, his first game back from a three-month injury. A three-month injury. But here we go: the Osterreich Pokal final, Ferenc Varos versus LSKA Linz. Yeah, that's kind of a bland-looking trophy, if I'm being honest. You can see Linz defeated Wolfsberger and Rapid Vienna to get here while we beat uh, Klagenfurt and, um, I think who the other team we beat was, um, Alltalk. I had to think about that for a second. As we kick things off here at the Stade Municipal. Salai. Oh, his form looks pretty good to me. Playing like he never left. As Zubkov with the finish. He brought his finishing boots. In this case, his finishing head. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with the second leg against Tottenham, but our players finished. Our overall play in that second leg was just abysmal. Based on that performance, we probably shouldn't even deserve to be in the Conference League final, but... In Tottenham fashion, they end up choking. Okay, yeah, oh! Zachary said, come on, buddy. You gotta react to that. You have got to react to that, buddy. I know you're center mid, but... That's abysmal. Kind of making me regret putting you, giving the captain's own band to you. That's not what captains do. That is a waste of a beautiful cross from Salai. Hey, Gavich, you can finish. I'm going to go ahead and go to the sim. Let me see player ratings so far.
and Salai when first came back getting the goal, which, sorry for the silence for me, I felt like there was something caught in my throat there, which is not particularly attractive, but we do have the three-goal lead now against Linz. Yeah, Salai's got a perfect 10 rating on his first game back. And of course, he'll be playing in the Conference League final. Is that corner? I was going to say that looked like a corner to me. Okay, that guy looks like... Oh, he's got an... Who the heck... Potsman, holy heck, you got speed. Okay, Zubkov, can you make it four? No, he can't. Good effort, though, but unable to find the back of the net. No, don't. Ah, uh, what? Good, sa good save by Deboos. Blow the whistle, ref. Thank you. A little bit scary towards the end of that first half, but... Okay, let's see. Chivich and Bonka really... Hmm. Which one... I, which one of these two do I get rid of? Bonka's gonna be playing again in the next game, so I think I'm gonna put put him on the opposite end. And I'm gonna give Ristich his game that way he'll he'll be sharp for the game for the conference league final. As far as other substitutions, I'm not really concerned about that right now. Let's jump into the second half. Linz kicks things off. Oh no no! I was gonna say keep a hold of that. Okay, Salai. Having a monster game. Finding a number 11 who is Zubkov. He gets his brace. Zubkov with a perfect 10 rating as well. Come on. Nice work by Chivich. Okay, Gavrich. Going along the left. He sees Hobbish like Oh, no, he took it on it himself. That's kind of a selfish de decision. I would have passed it over to... Not Hobbish lie, but Salai. Hobbish is not even on the field. Okay, Gavrich. Can you make amends? Kind of doesn't want to give it to other players. I don't know how I feel about that. I like the kid, but that's kind of selfish. Might consider putting on, uh, taking off Besic and Sonora, which I think I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to put Artur on for Besic. And Shobishla is at an 83. He can come on for Sonora. So those will be my final two substitutions. Oh, no. Yeah. Of course, we lose our clean sheet. Gruber scoring, scoring for them. Darn it. Can we get a, a, a goal here? That way we can have the last word here. I hate conceding the final goal in games. I really do. That's kind of one of my pet peeves. Zubkov getting the hat trick. Okay, Gavrich. Kind of made some questionable decisions so far in the same. Let's see if we make the right one here, which... Not a good cross. Ooh, nice! Zubkov getting his fourth goal of the game. A 
as we get to the final minutes here, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get possession back, which we do. And we will be completing the domestic double here because we are about to win the own strike poke out. And there we go. It ref calls time. A very good display overall by the team. There, there are a few players that I kind of wasn't really terribly pleased with their performances. But hey, we get another trophy. That's all that matters. Kind of bummed we didn't keep the clean sheet, but that usually goes on par for most sim matches. But Ferenc Varos have, has completed their Austrian double, even though they are a Hungarian side. I still wish EA would have the uh, Hungarian league. Uh, the Zachary, I said not the best of games from him. I've seen him play a lot better in, in this series. But he will be lifting the Osterreich Pokal trophy. The Soberschlei is getting pumped about it. I would give him the captain's armband, but he's not an original. I prefer to have original players wear the captain's armband on this team. I'll probably give it back to Botka in the next episode for if we do win the conference league. But you see Zach Rice and lifting the Osterreich Pokal trophy. Not the best looking trophy, admittedly, but a trophy is a trophy. Still feels like there's something in my throat. But anyway, Ferenc Varos, your Osirak Pokal champions and Hungarian double winners. And they have a chance for historic trouble in the final episode of this series. The next time I see you guys, we're playing against uh, Bel the Belgian side Ghent. Okay, let's take a look at some of these stats here real quick. Okay, man of the match went to Zubkov for goals, I'm not surprised. Salai, a goal and three assists. I, I actually would have given man of the match to him over Zubkov, if I'm being honest. Okay, Gruber, the goal scorer for Linz. And then take a look. We dominated possession. And we pretty much dominated everything else. They got better shot accuracy, but we got better dribble success rate and better passing accuracy. I'm going to skip the post-match. But there we go. That is what I'm going to call this episode. And the next time I see you guys, we will be finishing this series. And we are going to be taking on Kent for the right to lift the Champions, or should I say the Conference League trophy, not the Champions League trophy. But um, you can see we have a loan agreement for Koch from Borussia Dortmund 2. I'm going to say I couldn't take any risk before today, which I couldn't because he was recovering from in injury. They want him on a one-year loan, which I'll happily accept, even though I'm ending this series in the next episode. And as you can see, we are playing Ghent in the Conference League Finals, so that's where we're going to uh, start the final episode. As a matter of fact, it's the only game we have left to play, so... Conk loan rejected, u loan offer... Loan to buy from Portland Timbers, the MLS team I support in real life. You play on certain Martin for hair. But there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time.